to this function without inviting another great son of a Bible state, a former, a former major administrator of a Bible state, the director general of the Divine Monday campaign. Let me invite Oteko into a Sinkana to do one minute of support to this meeting. Thank you, Your Excellency. Coming back again, go and tell them, go and tell them, PDP is coming back, again. go and tell them, go and tell PDP is coming back, go and tell them, go and tell them, PDP is coming back again. God bless the people of Economic Business Senatorial District. Your Excellency the Governor confirmed on earth and confirmed in heaven my pride taken Gabriel Udom Emmanuel and his wife. I stand to recognize all the other legends of the new Aquaibom State. My job is to thank you Thank the people of Ikorak Bena Senatorial District for standing by the mandate. Akwaibom people, you must now know where the truth is. We have always prophesied and told you the carol night before the last one. I told you that unto you a child is born. His name shall be called Emmanuel. And government will be on his shoulders. Has it come to pass? The other day I said in Aket Senatorial District that after the court judgment there will be a divine judgment. And that divine mandate is that divine judgment is only for those who have divine mandate and Gabriel Udom Emmanuel is the only one with that mandate has it come to pass that the people of APC in their prophecy they say PDP is dead is PDP dead no. today we know who is dead we know who is dead I saw that APC was on his deathbed the only thing I did not know was how costly the funeral will be. Today we know it. Aquaibon people, the cost of funeral was a movement to Abuja. A cost of funeral was all the airfares, the accommodation, the legal fees. We must learn our lessons. So today, that is the party that is dead in Aquaibon State not PDP. I want to thank you and I thank you very sincerely. When where we are now Eboke Ezio John Akubum so the ship must now sail. I said to Akwaibo said ship ahoy we must now sell to the destination of industrialization. Incorrect many people, you stood for truth, you stood for justice, and you stood for the future. Justice will always be your portion. Truth will always be your portion. And your children will grow from bounds to bounds. So thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm happy to be part of this magic moment. And I know there will be more magic moments in a Bible step from this time on. May the good Lord bless you all. May the good Lord bless the governor, the wife, the minority leader, the deputy governor, and all the legends of our new Bible step. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, the Director General.
Director General of our campaign, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the very high point of these celebrations today. Your Excellencies, we will try as much as possible to give a very brief summary of why we gather here to select five individuals from across the five home state to honor them today in the presence of thousands of witnesses across the state and across the nation today. Your Excellencies, on the 29th day of May 2007, in a very uncommon electoral process, the Governor of Akwaibom State, Mesh, in the person of Chief Dr. Gautzi Robo Fabio, Your Excellency, that was the watershed of political electioneering in the state. Beginning from that day till the 29th day of May 2015, Akwaibom State went through a watershed of development. Your Excellency, the country was turned from a rural state, from a glorified local government headquarters that you met in 2007, not to what is now an internationally acclaimed center. Your Excellency, in a nutshell, you brought about international projects that stand out of Pueblo State today as a city of note in the Committee of State, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. Your Excellency, let me bring to the memory of this audience and indeed all the watching public to this event today that it was through your government that we have the compulsory and free education inaugurated. Your Excellency, it was through your government that we have the unity of the state for the first time concentrated and of course consolidated. Your Excellency, it was through your time that we have four, four flyovers consulted and commissioned in Aquaibum State. It was through your time that we have, Your Excellency, over 8,000 kilometers of road across the state, both federal and of Aquaibum State.
applause. Thank you. Please, please, please. If you are not, if you are not invited to the stage, please can you step down? Can you declare? Can you get back at the stage? If you are not allowed to play, we want only the elders with the honorees on the stage, please. Only the elders, some select elders with the honorees. Please, if you are not among them, please step down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I see. Please. Yes. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, music. Thank you. Band boys, thank you very much. Band boys, thank you very much. Band boys. Band boys, thank you very much. Your Excellencies. Your Excellencies. Thank you. As we have come to the climax of the event for today, Your Excellencies, this is the moment of award. And we'll begin the series. We'll begin the series with the minority leader, with the wife of the minority leader. Please check. We'll begin with the wife of the minority leader. Check. We'll check. begin with the wife of the minority leader. Check. Let us bring the gift of the wife of the minority leader forward. Please, ladies and gentlemen, everybody that doesn't have any business on this forward, stage, forward. step down from the stage, please. You give it to the chairman on the occasion who will do the presentation to the wife of the minority leader. The, this is this is to recognize your position as the commander of the five women that you were named before you left office as the first lady of a five state. By this honor, we are bringing back the memories of your reign. We are bringing back the memories that you generated in the heart of the five women and men. We are bringing back the memories that you generated in the heart of the five youth by bringing this as a token of appreciation of your good works and your goodness. And this is to be presented by the chairman on the occasion, distinguished senator Emmanuel Ibrahim, supported by the elders of the four federal constituencies. Your Excellency. The wife of the former governor of a five-room state and the wife of the Senate Minority Leader for your, your great work in a five-room state in mobilizing women for eight years and the future work which we are expecting for you to mobilize women of this senatorial district and indeed women in Nigeria. We are presenting this to you as a symbol of women mobilization. Congratulations. Next, next on the line is the award for the Senate Minority Leader, the Senate Senator, Gosfield Obodo Pabio. This is the hand of members of the Kwaipo Senatorial District, Kwaipo Northwest Senatorial District, which is which, where we have the map of the Senatorial District rested on it. This is a, a product made of brass, gold, and it is expected to last forever. It's a token of our love from the Senatorial District to show you that we are with you because you have made us proud when you were governor and you have made us proud even as a minority leader of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Congratulations.
case is going to be presented by the elders of all politicians in the state and a member of your federal constituency, the political Iroko of our tribal state, Iroko M.A. Afani. Yes. I mean, I have to do myself for saying that, but I'm going to myself for saying that. I'm going to do my own. 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 I'm going to do my Let the prince, let the prince step one step. One step. Are you open up? Let's open up this. Let's open up this place. Let's open up. Come by the side. Come by the side. Let's open up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next on the line is His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Five on State, and the Co Defender of Five on People. Jim Watson. Yes, please. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the next awardee is the Deputy Governor of Afaibom State, a great son of Nigeria, a diplomat by excellence, former chairman, director general of the Copyright Council. Please, please be well. We have, this is a, a prototype of the real shield. This is an example of the real shield. The real shield is a, I mean, shield, it's a shield. Okay. This is very heavy. It's a, this is very heavy. So this is a prototype of it. It's a shield. Yes, you are expected to be a defender of the crime interest in all manners. I mean, a co-defender of the crime interest, standing with your boss, the governor, to defend the crime interest, both at home and in diaspora. Therefore, we present this as a call of our love, and this is done through uh, Chief Otto Robert Apan. Chief Otto Robert Apan will do this presentation to the Deputy Governor. Thank you, sir. I tell you, as a defender of our wife of state, we present this shield of honor to you in recognition of your support to the Executive Governor of the state to succeed in the administration of Papua Ibn State. God bless you. Your Excellency is a shield that no player can penetrate. Therefore, when you hold that shield, hold it with all amount of confidence and faith. Next to be awarded, to be honored, is our great daughter, great daughter of Ikoi Prince in the third district. And by the special of grace of God, the special grace of God, the number one lady in the state, the first lady, the first lady, the number one lady, the most beautiful, the most elegant, the matter of the woman. And it is a touch light. Please, can we have your peace? It's a touch light. She's a touch bearer, not just for the women of the Bible state, but for the entirety of the citizenry of the state. When you hold a touch, the Bible says, when light shines in darkness, darkness cannot comprehend it. What this means is that if we have any obstacle involved, uh, manifesting in the form of darkness, when this touch is brought, that darkness will be brought to an end. Your Excellency, the wife of our governor, daughter of the star, you are today honored, and this honor will be presented by no other person than engineer Sam Ingham. Together with Christiana Ebinda, together with Christiana Ebinda, representing the women, engineer, joint presentation by engineer Sam Ingham with Christiana Abong and Christiana Ebinda. Women of faith, stand aside, stand aside, give it to them. Um, 
Two aside, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Finally, finally, we have come to the climax of the events of today. Please, can we open up so that others will see? We have a triple award here, triple award for the governor. First of all, we are going to give the governor because we know the governor is a man of God. A man who loves God, not as a pretense. A believer in the God's, God's supremacy. A true Christian. Not only who, does not go, who goes to church when he wants to do politics. Not only who goes to some assembly when he has won a fair judgment in the court of appeal. We are talking about a man who believes in God both by day and by night. A man who goes to church in all cities. That is our governor. Therefore, the first award for him today is the Bible. The Bible calls the word of God the sword of the spirit. Therefore, today, your Excellency, we are going to bring forward the word of God to you. And it's going to be jointly done by representative of the four federal constituencies. So, the territory to the state government will represent equal pay federal constituency. Team A. A. Sakpan will represent above federal constituency. Udo Kilian, the leader of the House of Assembly, will represent Okanafon. Federal Constituency and S.U. Akpan, Sir S.U. Akpan will represent a Federal Constituency in this presentation. So it begins with the Bible. So your Excellency, S.A.G., please do the presentation of the Bible. Join in, all of you. Join uh, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of our Bible State. Gabriel Emmanuel, on behalf of the people of the Code Equinus in the Judea District, we present you here the Holy Bible. And this Bible, Your Excellency, the people of the Code Equinus in the Judea District are saying that the Word of God never departs from your mouth. And may what you do for the people of our Bible State, for the people of the Code Equinus in the Judea District, and, and Akwai Bum State in general, may it be in line with what the Almighty God directs you to do. Thank you, please. Just to see the next presentation is the sword. That was the sword of spirit. Just to see, we also have the physical sword for you. I know that in the Bible, when Jesus Christ was about to depart, when Jesus Christ was about to depart, he told his disciples, when I was with you, you have no need for the sword. But now that I am going, if you do not have a sword, go and tell your land and buy a sword. Today, you also see after the Bible, we are also presenting you with a physical sword to be able to defend the interest of our Bible state. So a sword is to be presented by the same team. Your Excellency, the people of Vicori Benes Senatorial District, do hereby present to you the sword for the protection of Aquarium State by you, our leader. Congratulations. Finally, The sword, the, the shield. We are bringing the shield to you, Your Excellency. 
Yeah, that is. Yes. That is. Grass cup. And the shield. The shield of that protection. Is, of our tribe of state. That the is the pressure of our tribe of state. So the pressure of our tribe of state is given the shield, the sword, and the Bible for the defender. The defender of our tribe of state. Thank you. Yes, yes, let's have the permission for my Lord of the Senate, the Civil Senator, God's Red Party to make a response before we invite the Governor to do his response. Thank you, sir. And them, and again, Nemo. And them, and again, Nemo. Man, come to the above me, Jesus. And them, and again, Nemo. And them, and again, Nemo. The governor of Aquaibum said, judicially confirm Udom Gabriel Emmanuel and his beautiful wife. The deputy governor of Aquaibum said, judicially confirm Uncle Mo Obama Moses Epo. My dear wife, a kite unama goes to the My brothers from the National Assembly, the Chief Whip, the Minority Whip, the Minority Leader of the House of Representatives, the Deputy Minority Whip, Mr. Lushime, the Civil Center, and the Protocols Observe. First, Your Excellency, let me point out that I'm very grateful to the National Assembly. They sent a bipartisan delegation. The delegation comprises PDP senators, APC senators, APGA, and other political parties. Because today was the day they felt that one of their leaders was being recognized. We have promised to work in the National Assembly as one body to ensure the success of Mr. President, President Muhammadu Buhari. If the President succeeds, Nigeria has succeeded. Therefore, the National Assembly is one. We are called Senators, Senators of the Federal Republic. It doesn't matter the political party. So, my brother, I told you when this whole thing started that the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. Udum Gabriel Emmanuel, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. So let me congratulate all Aquaibum people for the election and the confirmation of Udum Gabriel Emmanuel as our governor with his deputy, and also our dear First Lady. Let me also thank the entire Econo Penance Senatorial District from Econo all the way to Uruguanam, the youth, the elders, the clergy. If you look to my right there, you'll see members of the traditional rulers council. So all the parliament rulers are there. All the clanmates are there. 
All the villagers are there. If you look into this arena, you will see all the women. Have you ever seen a rally? Or a, what they may call, uh, um, uh, what do we call it? Uh, uh, um, time giving service. Where you look and you see only youths from Port Accord, Bayelsa, standing and no single woman. And they will say, this is APC town giving service. This one we are doing. Have you not seen women? Any political party without a woman has failed. Am I right? So, in a five said, for even the, for them to demonstrate that they are not on the ground, there was no single woman when I saw that thing. That was the day I knew that even the Supreme Court must have seen. Let me say that Aquaibon people are too used to petition writing. When they write petition, they will not put in that petition that this is, their petition is based on injustice. The justice of Udom Gabriel Emmanuel is that in 2015, the entire 10 federal constituencies agreed that the next governor should come from where? Aked Senatorial District that had never produced a governor since the creation of Aquaibum. They did not also tell the people of Nigeria when they were doing propaganda that the totality of all the votes in the state, they did not have up to 7%. The Lord of Gabriel Emmanuel scored 960 something thousand that all the other political parties, all the other political parties joined together did not get up to 90,000 votes. They did not say that one. So when you heard, they did not also tell you and Nigerians that they were not looking for victory, that they were looking for judgment. Their judgment was rerun. Why we were looking for justice, and the justice of Ludum Gabriel Emmanuel. So which one has the Supreme Court done? The Supreme Court has not given us judgment. The Supreme Court has given us justice. Can we say to God be the glory? To God be the glory. So when people are writing petition and thinking that, oh, somebody went to bribe this or bribe that, realize that the, the rule of law must prevail. And those people, what they did to us was justice, not judgment. You can go and procure judgment, but you cannot procure justice. The justice in Aquaibum is that today, Eket Senatorial District rightly has produced its governor in the first of Udom Gabriel Emmanuel. It is on that note, it is on that note that I want to thank the President because it has shown that the APC-led federal government is not interfering in the judicial system. Even though some of the, uh, the comments that came from some of the leaders initially worried us, but today they have apologized and they said they will allow justice in Nigeria. May God help them to succeed in allowing justice to prefer. I thank you for the honor done, my dear wife. The governor will speak on behalf of all of us. But for me, all I can say is what I said in 2006 and 2007. When I came to you, I said, acquire from people, and you answered, let God's will be done. So let me say it again. Acquire from people, let God's will be done. Then I came again in 2011. And when I asked you, I said, acquire from people, and you said, let God's will be done again. Let God's will be done again. In 2015, I came again. I said, acquire from people, and you said, let God's will be done again and again and again. Acquire from people, let God's will be done again and again and again. In 2019, when I emerged, because God will keep you alive and will keep me alive. And I will ask you again. And I will ask you again. When I say, acquire from people, what would you say? Let God's will be done again and again and again and again. Let God's will be done again and again and again and again. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the minority leader of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Gosil Akwamio. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.
May we invite the number one citizen of our primary state, the chief security officer of our primary state. May we invite the leader of our primary state to address this gathering. You must say, Mr. Governor, sir. today. But before I start, let me use this opportunity to invite everybody on Wednesday, 10 a.m. at Nest of Champions, Gospel Aquabi International Stadium. 10 a.m. on Wednesday, come let us sing together. Let us dance together. Let us praise God together in thanksgiving. God bless you all. Your Excellency, the First Lady of a private state, my own dear wife, the true daughter of Ikora Ekbenes and Utera District, mother Ikora Ekbenes and Utera District, father Ikora Ekbenes and Utera District, true daughter, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of a great state, the great son of the soil, Uncle Mo. The Right Honorable Speaker, Your Excellency, the immediate past governor of our great state, and his dear wife, the mother of divine mandate, the Senate Minority Leader. Let me use this particular point to recognize all the senators who have identified with us during this reception, and by extension, I recognize all members of the National Assembly. Your Excellency, the former military governor of our state, the DG of the Divine Mandate, the immediate past deputy governor of our state, former deputy governors, former deputy governor's wives, the SSG, the head of service, honorable commissioners, Permit me to stand on the existing protocol because of time. I just have one simple message. Just to tell Eco Recognition Senatorial District, thank you. What am I saying? What am I saying? I cannot hear you. That's all. For the honor you've done us today, my wife, Her Excellency Mrs. Matilda Emmanuel, and I. 
we express our heartfelt joy for this honor. And we are saying, may God bless you all. But before I drop the microphone, because you've answered me my thank you, I think I'm finished. But let me salute and celebrate no other person, our leader, the immediate past governor, the minority leader, my worthy predecessor. For the transformational work he did in our five state. Let me appreciate the model of the divine mandate. Today, I keep saying so, he has laid a foundation for a skyscraper. We will never be Le Bongalo. We will never be Le Bongalo. We are proud of him today that he's serving our state, our territorial district at the national level, as he did for people in the past eight years. I know he will bring back the big bang for the people of our great state in this particular time. Let me at this point in time thank the House of Assembly for their cooperation, the judiciary. I will leave the issue of the Supreme Court justice until Wednesday. Wednesday is set aside for the thanksgiving for the justice we obtained at the Supreme Court. To God be the glory. So for today, let me also thank the people, the leaders of the Economic Senatorial District, the chairman of today's occasion, all the leaders who jointly package this wonderful program. Never in history have we recorded this number, this crowd, in any grand reception in this state. It shows you honor your own. If somebody does not say you are good, you are not good. Today you say your sons are good, your daughters are good, your in-laws are good. May God bless you in Jesus' name. But let me also give an advice. I said so during my broadcast of the whole country when we won at the Supreme Court. I said we are not against anybody aspiring to any office. What we are against is the approach. What we are against is the falsehood. What we are against is the satanic propaganda. What we are against is the misleading of our people. Never again, because we've launched our social rebirth, we say, Aquago, arise to the threat of greatness. Arise above all biases, gender, ethnicity, religion. Rise to togetherness. That's my message for you today. We have risen above those biases. Let no man, let no woman, let no party take us back to those olden days. Today, we are rising towards our greater heights. And I want to thank you. I believe what you've done today. The Bible says, He who waters shall be watering. For you to honor us today, God will honor you people. I couldn't hear you, amen. I said, God will honor you people. Go and tell them, since they have so much to offer the state, I've given them a platform. I've extended that hand of fellowship. Let them come with their industrialization. Let them come with their ideas. Since they have so much money, let them bring it. Let's build industries so that our youth can work, our women can work. You have so much. You love the state so much. We are welcoming them today. Let them come over and let's build together. I want to thank you all. Mbodi Akwai Bambodi O! Akwai Bambodi O! Akwai Bambodi O! Akwai Bambodi O! I love you all. God bless you all. Thank you. Wow. The national anthem. The national anthem. The national anthem. The national anthem.
And that's how we came, or that's how we come to the end of the reception, the grand one for that matter. And His Excellency, the Governor of Quite the State, Mr. Ibom Emmanuel, and the Senate Minority Leader, Alexander the Wise, and the Deputy Governor of Quite the State, Mr. Moses Eko. And in this reception, we had a delegation that brought across political parties from the National Assembly. We had uh, 19 goodwill messages, uh, people giving us goodwill messages, 19 people that came to say, for the political leadership, we are very happy that you have recognized your own and you have called all of us to come and witness this. Another thing that uh, catched the interest of uh, people in this place was the various description given to the past governor of Kwai Bum State when Senator Ibo Hussein, who is the chairman of this function, spoke. He described Chief Gospel Akwabu as a natural leader. And when Chief Albert came in to speak, he called him, a, he called him as a political craftsman who has made Akwabum proud. Uh, how we navigated himself and acquired them stayed at large to become a minority leader even as a first timer and he was also described as a leader of the new acquired state by Emmanuel and by Senator Amitya Okun and we also had the chairman one local government areas are in a five-bomb state are coming to describe the APC as internally displaced people of the People's Democratic Party and then them as the governor of a five-bomb state, His Excellency Udom Emmanuel as an extension agent of emancipation of a five-bomb state. And we thank you for being part of these proceedings here in Ikorekere Senatorial District. On behalf of the outside broadcast crew, the Director General of AKBC, Pastor Nate Tupay, 